From Abakwa Junction to the airport interchange, free vehicular movement speaks volumes of a well-constructed road. How about the reconstructed Ikulu Bridge to Akwata? It also wears a new look, owing to the state government's maintenance work done. And many say it's become a tourist attraction. This place was impassable. You see, the road was always sliding and filling and the vehicles falling. When they bring materials into the market, before the big trucks come in, they were sliding and then torpedo and fall into the ditch. So we came in now and introduced this wide road. The Sullivan Chime administration embarked on a reconstruction of over 10 federal roads and a bridge to the tune of over 25 billion naira. A lawmaker representing Nsuka East, Chinaduwamba, moved a motion appealing to the federal government for a refund of the money, insisting it will help the present administration focus in other sectors, including agriculture, education, health, and tourism. This honorable house appeal to the federal government of Nigeria to reimburse Enugu state government to the tune of 25 billion, 930 million, 300 and 52,985 naira 80 code, which was spent in the rehabilitation of federal roads of economic importance by the state government. Other members of the state legislature also spoke on the need for the state to receive the money from the federal government. If we had a social contract, we would expect that the government of Nigeria will respect and keep its own side of the bargain. As the local state is still ready to partner with them, they are not looking for this money to forget our federal roads in our state. For any roads that are still to be updated, the state government is never ready to partner with them and assist federal government to force it while waiting for the enforcement. It's clear the state lawmakers are unanimous in their appeal. But what's left to be seen is if the federal government will carry out the reimbursement of the money to the Enugu state government anytime soon.